The triumph of the Immaculate Heart is near, and with it the end of an era. Are you ready for what is about to happen? These words resound like thunder in the silence, shaking the foundations of our faith. The Virgin Mary of Medjugorje has spoken, and her message is clear, the apparitions are about to end, marking the beginning of a new phase in human history. For decades, the faithful have looked to Medjugorje as a beacon of hope and spiritual renewal. Now, as we approach this crucial moment, it is essential to reflect on the profound meaning of these events and the role each of us is called to play. The final message of the Madonna is not just a farewell but an urgent invitation to conversion and prayer. We are asked to actively participate in the triumph of her Immaculate Heart, a victory that represents the ultimate defeat of the darkness afflicting our world. But what does this really mean for us, men and women in middle age, who have lived long enough to see the world change drastically? First, we must understand that conversion is not a single act but a continuous process of inner renewal. At 55, 60, or 65 years old, we might think we have already undergone our major spiritual transformations. However, Mary's message reminds us that it is never too late to deepen our faith and align our lives with the divine will. Prayer, the central element of Medjugorje's message, takes on new meaning in this context. It is not just about reciting words but establishing a deep connection with the divine. For many of us, who have lived through decades of ups and downs in our faith life, this may seem like a daunting task. Yet, it is precisely at this stage of life that we have the opportunity to draw on accumulated wisdom and spiritual maturity to elevate our prayers to a new level of authenticity and power. Let us take a moment to reflect and pray together. O Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Mother, at the twilight of your apparitions, we pray for you to guide us toward the light of your Son. Help us understand the true meaning of conversion and give us the strength to persevere in prayer. May the triumph of your Immaculate Heart be realized through our humble lives. Amen. If this prayer has touched your heart, we invite you to comment with, Amen, to spiritually join all those who share this intention. The importance of Medjugorje cannot be underestimated, especially in light of the support it has received from authoritative figures such as Pope John Paul II. The fact that a pontiff of such stature saw in Medjugorje a continuation of the Fatima message should make us reflect deeply. This is not about mere coincidences or isolated phenomena but a divine plan unfolding before our eyes. The Pope emphasized the importance of prayer, fasting, and the sacraments, elements that we may have sometimes neglected in the frenzy of modern life. At this age, with family and professional responsibilities that may seem overwhelming, we may be tempted to set aside these spiritual practices. Yet, it is precisely at this moment that we must rediscover their value and effectiveness. Medjugorje has established itself as a global spiritual center, surpassing even historic sacred sites such as Lourdes and Fatima in terms of penitence. This phenomenon speaks of a deep need for reconciliation and spiritual renewal that crosses our society. Confession, in particular, takes on a central role in this process. How many of us, having reached this stage of life, carry the weight of years of regrets and remorse? The Sacrament of Reconciliation offers a way to be freed from these burdens and begin a new chapter in our spiritual life. The growing Marian movement linked to Medjugorje is not an isolated phenomenon but a sign of the times. In an age where traditional values and faith seem under attack from all sides, this spiritual renewal represents a concrete hope for the future. For those of us who have lived through decades of social and cultural change, this revitalization of faith and family values may seem like a beacon in the storm. However, it would be naive to ignore the controversies and doubts surrounding Medjugorje. The skepticism of some church officials is a fact that we cannot and should not hide. But it is precisely in these moments of uncertainty that our faith is called to demonstrate its strength. As Pope John Paul II said, the supernatural events of Medjugorje are part of a broader divine plan that goes beyond our immediate understanding. In this context, it is essential that each of us engages in personal and community discernment. It is not about blindly accepting every claim or alleged apparition, but about opening our hearts and minds to the action of the Holy Spirit in our lives. The Madonna invites us to work for the victory of her Immaculate Heart, but this victory begins in our hearts, in our families, in our communities. Now, we ask you, how are you experiencing this moment of transition in your spiritual life? Do you feel the urgency of Mary's message? How are you responding to the call for conversion and prayer? We invite you to reflect on these questions and share your experiences in the comments.
your contribution could be an inspiration to many others facing similar challenges in their faith journey. As we approach the conclusion of this message, it is important to remember that the end of the Medjugorje apparitions does not mark the end of our spiritual mission. On the contrary, it is the beginning of a new phase in which we are called to live and spread Mary's message with renewed vigor. The triumph of the Immaculate Heart is not a distant and abstract event but a reality built day by day through our actions and prayers. To delve deeper into these themes and stay updated on developments related to Medjugorje and the Marian movement, we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. There you will find daily reflections, inspiring testimonies, and practical guides to living your faith more deeply and authentically. Don't miss the opportunity to be part of this growing community of faithful committed to the path of holiness. The final message of the Virgin Mary of Medjugorje confronts us with a choice. We can ignore this call to conversion and continue with our lives as if nothing had happened, or we can seize this opportunity for a profound spiritual transformation. The decision is in our hands, but let us remember Mary's words, time is short, and the triumph of her immaculate heart is near. May the grace of God and the intercession of the Virgin Mary accompany us on this path of renewal and conversion. May we be credible witnesses of God's love in a world desperately in need of hope and light. And remember, this is not a goodbye but the beginning of a new spiritual adventure. Stay tuned because the best is yet to come. The story of salvation continues, and we are called to be active protagonists. May the peace of Christ be with you all.